Hi there, Sharon, Be Divine Vintage. I'm coming to you today from my tremendously untidy craft room. We are in the middle of, uh, we've just completed decorating the guest room where my son moved out of, so that's become the guest room. So what was the smaller bedroom, well, still is a smaller bedroom, is just currently filled with all sorts all sorts of accumulated stuff so i'm busy sorting that room out and because that's going to be my new craft room i'm busy sorting my, my old craft room out and so it's become a big pile of junk i'm wanting to craft i'm wanting to do things my etsy shop's going wild so you know i just thought right today <sighs> calm it down let's do some crafting let's see my friends on uh, youtube because i I've hardly been on these past few weeks. So I, I was in a glassine bag swap, decorated glassine bag, and this is what I, one of the bags I came up with. So it was a large glassine envelope, which I cut in the middle there and folded it. And I thought that would be a good journal insert or even a fab um, journal cover. And then I thought, oh. Laurie Girl on the Ridge does amazing, pretty work. Let's do something from the inspiration I've received from Laurie combined with the glassine bag swap. This is some lace that I hand dyed myself, but I thought, how pretty, how pretty. I'll probably put that in my etsy shop actually is a journal cover because i am or a journal insert because i'm desperately desperately trying to de-stash <clears throat> there's no way i can i can well i just looking around my craft room actually fills me with dread anyway so what i did i got the envelope let me get one here i got the envelope which looks like this and measures 22 centimetres, which is nine inches by six inches. So it's nine by six or 22 by uh, 15. That doesn't include the bit that falls over. So I got the glassine envelope and Sorry, folded the top, snipped up the middle and rounded the corners and folded it. What's that noise? I've actually made <coughs> two kits, two kits. So if you like this, the kits are available on the link below. Two kits so that you can have a go at making this if this is what you like. So I've snipped it there. I have already inked all these pages so i've i've dyed my pages with avocado i've had the best avocado dye experience ever tried a new recipe which i will leave in the links below but look at this i mean that is an envelope that's where the envelope was folded but i thought it's too pretty to leave closed as an envelope use it as paper so that's that one so <clears throat> these were A4 papers torn in half um, and then I've torn around them to give them this shabby look. Look at these papers, aren't they beautiful? Absolutely stunning. My mum, I was showing you today, she couldn't believe it was avocado. This is one of my favourites. So this is an envelope. I've cut it down slightly to fit in the book that beautiful dying but then inside again this was so lovely it says basled and bond on it that's the um make of the envelope but it was too pretty to um use as an envelope and I, I needed the world to see inside it and so it goes more dyed papers torn around so in the little packs are these sort of a5 is it a5 half of a4 um papers ready for you to tear around yourself so after i've torn around them all i have inked them 
so I used, here it is, Victorian velvet. My table's a bit messy there from my inking. So I used my Victorian velvet and I just went all around the edge. This is my preferred way of inking. This is the one I believe gets the best results. So I went around there. <coughs> And inside, do it again. We can pull the ink off the glass. So that's the Victorian Velvet Distress Oxide. Then I use the Age Mahogany. I didn't change my sponge. They didn't really seem to be a lot of point because they're similar colours. One's darker than the other. And I went round the edge again, pulling those colours in. See how pretty that is? Yeah, so the kits I've made have got everything in to make exactly what I'm making today. Then I got, so it's Oxide Age Mahogany, because I know we like to know what colours we're using. Then I got the good old, well-used Vintage Photo, which I believe I have re-inked this so many times. I, I feel I'm getting ready for a new one. Now with this one, I just, that's before, I just went over the pages like this, just to pick up some of those creases in the paper, those, not creases, bends in the paper. Oh, I hope this is not to come to my house now. Hubby's, Hubby's, Hubby's out. He's gone fixing the toilet. So, oh, I'm not sure his toilet's blocked. So he's, uh, no doubt, be paper hand towels. He'll no doubt but be moaning. Anyway, right, there we go. Fabulous done. So that's what I did with all of these papers. So there is, uh, let's turn that off there. Uh, way, right, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we put those together and we just put them, fold our glassine bag in half, put those in and then, just let me get a book, just get a book, put that in the crease of the book, then I'm just going to use my, this, what do you call it all? And I'm going to eyeball roughly. one up a little bit where I want that to go so I'm going about probably about an inch I think that's 2.5 centimeters down and the same there this is this isn't like my best book this book is what I'm going to use I'm actually I think I'm I'm going to make an altered book with it so we'll put the I've already threaded this. I'm using a vintage sort of linen cotton there. It's really nice, thick, thick cotton. So I've put some of this cotton in my little packs. So let's go through there. This is just a really simple pamphlet stitch. Like butter, I'm gonna to have to part with stuff. You know, stuff I've collected over the years and things and things I've bought for crafting, stuff I've collected. It's just uh let me just check that there. Stuff I've bought, stuff I've collected. But I just can't keep it all. Just cannot physically keep it all. Well, I could. 
if I asked my husband to move out, I suppose I could. So then, it is easier with waxed fabric to do this next bit, this tying bit, because it wax fabric stays. So I'm going to have to do this as best and utterly best I can. There we go. Now these bits you can leave dangling, you can cut them off, you can add beads, you can do whatever you want to do. I am just going to cut them off. And I'm actually just going to tie another knot on there. So there we go. There we are. Very nice with flexibility for the boot as well. Right, so the front. Let's do the front. Just checking it's not too loose, actually. I don't think when everything's in, I don't think it will be. So the front, let's get back to the front. So I've got some of this lace that I dyed. Is it tatin? myself this is vintage so i dyed that i have got one of these which is a rosette which i avocado dyed and i love how that's turned out it's really pretty i have got this is some this is a more modern lace so it didn't take the avocado stain as dark but it's still a very pretty pink. I've got the some broadery on avocado dyed broadery on lace. I of course have got my lady, and I've got some avocado dyed muslin cheesecloth. Quite a broad weave, decent piece, and I've got <coughs> this ribbon from Plum Boutique and I am going to start using this now because I want this to be my closure. So I'm just going to see how much I need. Let's just work it out. So about there. Scissors. Let me cut some more lengths of this then to go in these, in my packs. Then we've all got the same. That's one. I was crafting with my mum yesterday. I don't know if any of you saw my pictures on Instagram. My Instagram is Bee Divine Vintage. My Facebook is Bee Divine Vintage. We were making rosette flowers. We had a lovely time. Lovely, lovely, lovely time. It's beautiful. It's like a silk bur burgundy ribbon. I love Plum Boutique. They do absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous ribbons. So they're on Etsy. Plum Boutique at Etsy.com. Plum Boutique.etsy.com. I'm going to drink my coffee. I, uh, oh, I've got one of these as well, my little stick pins. So all this, is ex exactly all this is in the packs. Mm. So, I went on a retreat recently and I don't really drink coffee. However, I found myself in a group with four or five people from oh, all different places in America, LA, New York, or New Jersey, LA, Nebraska, Hollywood, or oh, just all over. Anyway, obviously there it's like coffee, 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 coffee. So I think it's like, when's it coffee time? So I think I became a coffee addict. I need to sort of start and tone it down a bit. I'm just going to tie this on here, then I can sort of work out. Like working with 16 thumbs today, I think. 
so yeah so i've really got into my coffee i would never normally sit down to craft with a coffee but it's just it's just happening at the moment so that's pretty so where shall i put this where 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 do i want it in the middle at the top i'm going to put it around the middle there so i'm just going to get some of my fabric and I'm just going to put some of this there, just to secure that in place. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, let's have a look at the front now, how we're going to decorate this. So I do love this muslin. So I'm going to take a piece of muslin. Now, I find ripping this really difficult because it just, oh no, this one's easy. There we go, so I've got some muslin. My lady, these are vintage reproduction um, die cuts that would have been used in Victorian scrapbooks. So each of the packs has got this exact same die cut in. Just cut around there. And of course, I'll just need to ink around this. Doing it like this just to do it quick. And I'm inking just to sort of try and get rid of any white edges. Yeah, so no matter which part of America the people were from that I met shout out to uh, Nicholas to Sylvia to Gore to Shirley to Jeanette no matter which part of America these people were from it was all coffee 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 that's pretty uh, let's have a look in one of those down there yep yep like it oh hang on let's put that there as well so you're with me now just crafting on the hoof i prepared everything that i wanted to use and then Where is this piece here? Let's just put that piece there, 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 there. Oh yes. And you can trim your bits off after. Am I gonna put this on? What do I think? Let me just stand up. That's there. Am I gonna put this on as well? Oh, now I would like that there, which means I'm going to have to move this. Put that there. <clears throat> da -da. You end up moving everything around, don't you, to decide. Do I want it on? I love it, but do I want it on? I think I do. I think I do. I think I'm going to put it there. Have a look. Let me have a look through my camera. Yes. Yes. <coughs> so, some people take photos to try and remember the layout. I'm just going to uh, flip it and then just start and stick my bits and bobs on. Get the old fabric tack because it is fabric that I'm gluing. Actually, just going to trim this down a little bit. Save all your bits. You never know when you might need them. So that is going to go there. So just going to trim a little bit more off there. That is there. So that's why I put the ribbon on first. So all these layers will help secure the ribbon. This one I'm going to put on here. So I need to cut that around there. 
I'm not going to um, <clears throat> embellish this book. Well, you'll see what I am going to add some bits and pieces, but I'm not going to fully embellish it because it is will go for sale as a notebook. And then whoever buys it, if they choose to embellish it further, that is up to them. This is vintage broderie anglaise. Pretty. Right, this is the bit. I wasn't sure, do I do that underneath there like that? Or do I put that on top of there? like that on top right i'll put this piece on now i could do like my, my husband came back from the <sighs> you've been to the uh diy store right big being q it's called we used to call it granddad's world because my dad always used to be in it all the time so he went to b and q and he came back with five litres of PVA glue. He said, I bought you this. So, I was delighted, of course, of course, of course. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, yeah, I know where I'm going now. I was just thinking, what am I talking about? So, he came back with this five litres of glue. I thought, wow, I could do five litre jars of Fabri-Tac. Right. Huge bottles of it because I go through this this size like nothing on earth. Right, let's put this on. I'm just sort of trusting where it goes, playing with it, and enjoying it. I watched a whole crafting video the other day and it was just in silent. It was called Meditative Craft. And you know, I actually quite enjoyed, enjoyed it. But you're saying, yes, well, hearken to that, Sharon Alexander. You know, the one who talks too much. So I'm going to have a new channel as well called Creating the Mind Space, uh, Creating the Headspace. And it's going to be about meditative craft. When that's up and running, I'll let you know. I have got a Facebook, but I'm going to set everything up next week. So it's Creating the Mind Facebook. Oh, that's so pretty. Don't worry, I haven't gone into some sort of trance then. I was just holding it, sticking that down. Yay, got it. Got it. I do sort of really trust my instincts of what, how things will come together. I watch some videos of some crafters and the like. 20 minutes or so planning this planning that where should we put this where should we put that that but i'm just more of a intuitive in fact i'm going doing next year i'm going doing a course sort of intuitive art not art intuitive craft yes i am hopefully 24th of uh, february Man, that coffee's so good. Right. And here, I'm going to put this little stick pin. There's a stick pin in every package for the uh, sets. Let's just, God, let's just move that a little bit. Whoop. I made these little stick pins. I could put the link below, actually. The video, stick pin video there. Oh, I like that very much. Now you can add your glossy accents and diamond glaze and whatever onto there if you wanted to. So there is the front. Beautiful. Then inside, let's go inside. Let's travel inside together. I already made <coughs> these little cards because I thought with the things on the front, if you come to write on this 
side it's quite difficult so i made the little cards using edith holding papers so you can do that so in your pack is a cut to size piece of card and a couple of edith holding papers so let's let me just edge this I'm going to pop that. Oh, if, if you just put a bit of talc or cornflour or something on there, that'll stop that. I'm going to put that in there. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? Oh, I am a rebel. I'm going to put that, one of my little off cuts, on there. So it makes it easy to take in and out. And I'm actually just going to staple that on. Whoop. Steady. Actually, the best thing to do is to just put a bit of glue where you want it to be, just a tiny bit, so that holds its place, and then it bring the stapler in. Pretty. That'll go in there. So that's just one of the offcuts from my lace from when I did the front can go very nicely in there that makes it easier then to pull in and out I've got this little bag little glassine bag which come on come on baby five litres of PVA glue because I'm going to make my own gesso and is it not gesso mod podge Maybe I'll make my own gesso, I'm not sure what's in gesso, but I'm going to be making my own Mod Podges. I've been saving jar bottles for that. Honestly, my house looks like I don't know what. I've got crafting stuff in the dining room, the carriage, the utility room in here. So I have got to, got to <coughs> de-stash a little bit. So I also, just off the off cuts from making the board, I just made this little journaling card. I've just glued that little glassine bag on the front. And I'm just going to put that in there. Whoever buys it might want to put the name on there or something. Right, <clears throat> so these pages. So, within your packs are all these bitties and bobbies there are these some more of these uh, um not antique they are 1960s reproduction antique so the vintage antique dies there is some handmade is it lot lo loft of paper some other bits of papers are some tin holtz wallpaper dies. It's a little bit of wax paper, vellums, uh, some pieces of tin holtz wallpaper. All these, all these. So what we're going to do with these is just. Oh, sorry, I just got a little itchy, itchiness on my shoulder. I know, hiding away here. Just find that little. Just find that little butterfly. So I think it's. It wasn't selected, but I think it might be saying to me, "Put me in the book." It's dirt. It's grubby underneath. With I shouldn't say dirty. It's grubby with crafting. Crafting. I'm out of frame, Anna. Right, butterfly. You know from all the bits on your desk. It is very pretty. that there and put our butterfly there <sighs> the more I look around this craft room <laughs> oh daunted I feel about the task in hand but how do you eat an elephant one spoonful at a time so we'll just take it easy right so these I am going to use you know, as uh, 
like page tabs. In fact, I've just had another idea. Let me get a stencil. one I picked up so if we just because the white on the back if we just stencil the back and then we're simply going to use it as page tags easy peasy lemon squeezy My mum hates this glue. I said to my mum, oh, mum, you love this glue. It's for how it glues fabric. And <clears throat> does she like it? No. She thinks it's a sticky mess. It's a sticky mess on my hand. She doesn't like getting hands dirty. So so you literally just, we're just going to stick kitties on there. <clears throat> oh, it moved. that one and then so you've got some glue now on there I'm just going to tear this around to make a tag where's my let's just get some I've just got my age mahogany out here now I'm just gonna this one doesn't need doing on the back because it's doesn't need stenciling on the back because it's already got the dotties on the back we're just going to pop that on here and the only reason we're popping that on here is because I've got glue on here I think we just caught the camera pop that there see how they build up the tags how pretty they look so I think I'm going to leave that one but I need something around here so, I like the dotty on the dotty. So, I'm going to tear a bit of this out. Oh, let's tear it the other way, then we don't get too much white. This one, I'll just put a little <coughs> bit of stints on the back. And, oh, where did we say about there? <clears throat> Honestly, my craft space is so tiny. When my new room's done, you're just going to be blown away at the amount of work surface I'm going to have. Probably until I've been in there about two weeks, then it'll be full again. I promise, I promise my husband that I'll keep it tidy. So how can you keep it tidy when you can't even keep yours tidy? So there you go, that's that page. Um, let's use so, a piece of vellum here. And you don't have to have the edging on every page. It's up to you where you put your tags. I just think they look really pretty. It's just a nice decorative edge there. I'm just going to put that one in the middle. As I said, I'm not going to decorate this book any further. Well, not decorate. I am decorating. I'm not going to embellish it any further. And you see how the layers are building up on the edge? How pretty it looks. Uh, probably. Let's put uh, this little girl there. Yes, we will. Uh, you don't have to do every page. Oh, there's my phone, which I'm not going to answer because I'm in on my own and I'm doing a crafting video and the likelihood is it'll be my son asking me something about work or my husband complaining about the toilets at nursery. There we go, that's on there. Let's come to this one now. I'm going to use some of this paper, very pretty paper, very, very, very nice. I 
I've not got a lot of family stuff to talk to you about. I normally have jabber on about my family, don't I? But I haven't um, I've got much to tell you. It's worrying, isn't it, when everything's going calmly? I think I've been that tied up in my Etsy. I've I had I had like went to bed and woke up and I had like twenty orders and it's like what? Then the same happened the night after and so I've been packing and packing and packing and some of the orders I needed to make things. I'm not complaining, it's just like eats does eat into your time. Look at those lovely pages, it does eat into your time. So this is some of the waxed paper that I made, if you remember. What did I call it? Waxing lyrical video. Oh, and I put that. In fact, I'm going to put that under there. Let's just do that corner. Look at that. I love it. Just love it. I just love it. Let's bring it out a bit. There we go. Oh, here's my beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Basildon Bomb page. Let's put this on. Should put this vase of flowers on there and then we'll let it open. Yes. That's just a stencil on the back of this. This is just Tim Holtz. I just pulled, it was on the top of my stencils. The Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous. And they actually look like fish scales, don't they? Get the glue. Pretty. It does still open. A tiny little bitty. Bitty Bobby. You can see all the edges. It's so pretty. I love the sound of the book as well. <clears throat> ah. Ooh. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, let's put a piece of the Tim Holtz wallpaper dies. <clears throat> tried to select uh, for the packs all very similar to what I'm using here all really pretty things that I think go together Ew. I have glued the wrong bit never mind let's put it there like that and put some more glue under here what a, what a wally. So check your glue in the right bit. There, there. I think I need something on this one. Yeah, not a lot to report. I will keep you updated on my craft room. I might dare I take some pictures. Dare I take you with my camera and show you the rooms? No, I just don't. Dare not do it. Oh, we've got two of those. Ew, no. I'm going to sneak that off there and I'm going to put that there. And I'm just going to put some wallpaper, Tim Holtz wallpaper. This is why it's so important to save all of your scraps because use like this they become so 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 pretty don't you think well we've got coronation coming up next week i knew there would be something to chat about coronation how simply delightful 
my mum is so excited it's the second coronation that she will have seen so she i don't like that so square she uh is coming to my even though she lives like two minutes away she's gonna come and stay at my house overnight in the new guest bedroom and uh, the new bed the new wardrobes she's gonna come and stay and on the friday and we're going to watch the new bridgerton on the friday night and then we're up early on the saturday to watch every minute of the coronation every last minute and we're going to make chicken sandwiches from freshly roasted chicken we're going to have ham my mum's cooking a ham we're going to have beef we're going to have cheese we're going to have egg we're going to have salmon and cucumber we're doing all the traditional afternoon tea sandwiches it's um almost my birthday my birthday's a few days later so my beautiful olivia who is look at that that's so pretty isn't it who is she can make a cake out of anything you give her a boiled egg and she can make a cake out of it she makes amazing cakes so because my daughter's down from durham that weekend for the coronation her husband's on some sort of stag event um so my daughter's coming down to watch the coronation so we are going to have a little afternoon tea and a little birthday celebration for me i'm quite looking forward to that so olivia's making a cake and jessica is oh that's nice can you see how it's like picked up the uh sort of relief off the the cat's fur looks nice so yes so it's all it will be all systems go here so, Olivia making the cake Jessica's like oh I don't really have to do anything then do I uh yes Jess you do we're all contributing so my son and his uh, partner Emma they're bringing she's making scones bringing scones and clotted cream and things jam so jessica has said well i will make sausage rolls so i 100 percent believe she will buy sausage rolls she's not going to make them she'll say oh i just didn't have the time i'm just so busy busy it looks pretty there doesn't it let's get it the right way up she'll just say she was so terribly busy which she is. She's a teacher. She's terribly busy. But Olivia's a nurse. She's terribly busy. She's still making her birthday cake. And I'm just terribly busy crafting. But I'm still getting the afternoon tea and things ready. So, you know. We're all busy, Jess. We're all busy. Sometimes I just think, God, if you could just grant me a couple more hours just for me. A couple more hours in a day. I think this is really really pretty <clears throat> what i'm liking is i'm just not thinking you might think yeah i can tell that's there we've got that there so we need some let's put some of this down here i picked these dotty scraps out because of the dots on some of the papers brain is just feels so i'm gonna put that under because i like that edge there my brain feels scrambled at the minute I did a meditation this morning i'm going to go and just have a little bit more of a saute in my new craft room and i am going to have a shower put on a meditation just a short 15 minutes. I like to do the ones. I like the visualisation. So I'm going to do the visualisation meditation. And then I'm going to come back and decorate the um, envelope thingy that I made the other week. 
here we go i think that's done let's have a look so we've got the front the back we've got 10 10 um oh 10 pages in the signature so that's 40 sides to write on we've got this little journaling card we've got this little tag and then the pages which i simply love i'm not going to do anything else i'm actually got I'm actually, I am actually, I'm going to put one of these on here. I'm not going to do anything else in this journal by means of pockets and tucks and tags. That ain't happening. This is simply how it's going to be. And it is simply very, very beautiful. Oop, put that on there. Yep, I like that. See on the back it just shows through. Do you know, let's just put a little bit of I'm just gonna put a little bit of paper on there. That's you know part of the envelope. I'm so excited. Why am I excited? Because I think we're going to go to the Caribbean in October. We said we weren't. We said we're doing, doing, spending money doing the house, blah, blah, blah. And then we saw this cruise and I said, wow, that's a good offer. Sent it to my husband, even though we were just sat in bed next to each other. I sent it in. So I thought if I tell him, he might not take notice. Whereas if it pops on, up on his phone, he'll have a look. I sent it to my husband and he said, wow, that's a great offer. It is a really good deal. So, oh, look, I didn't, uh, what I didn't do there. I didn't stencil it. It's always worth just going back now and a check. Look at that, it's beautiful, that middle. Lovely, lovely. There we go. Oh, there you go. Has another not been stenciled? Just makes a difference just adding something to the back of it. So when you're looking this way, you've got these stencils and not just white paper. There we go. And then there's the big pocket at the back. And there it is. So how long does it take me to make that? <clears throat> 48 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed that. Quick glassine bag. Glassine envelope journal. Let's tie that. There it is finished. Hope you like it. I promise to be back sooner. I'll see you again. Thank you. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. I'd love you to subscribe. My YouTube. Oh, well, yeah, this is my YouTube. My Etsy. My Facebook. My uh, Instagram are all B Divine Vintage. B E A D, as in bead. And then it's I-V-I-N-E, Be Divine Vintage. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Bye-bye.